This applies directly to any court charge you have. You have the highest equitable claim to matters involving your name, a state which the court has made. Fix that typo there. Uh, involving your name, which is in a state which the court has made an account of or of securities, a security out of. Therefore, requiring the plaintiff or prosecutor to certify your right to segregation when you ask for it. Just ask for that. Don't make it any more complicated than this. Keep this simple. This turns the tables and makes you, really, the plaintiff, and orders them to settle the accounts. So you should order them to just simply ask. So this has been tested with live in court situations and is quite effective. If you listen to one of the recent audios, I think it was from the week of November um, uh, 15th, 2017, we have one person on there who walked in and simply asked this one question. I demand my right to subjugation. And we're not moving on from this point until we're not moving on until we get that resolved. State on that, they try to get him off subject, but he simply says, "Well, but before we can proceed, I need the prosecutor to certify my right to subrogation. Just make them acknowledge it. You know you have a right to it, and once they certify it, it's yours. Equity is done. And then you say, now I'd like you to sell off and settle the account. And that's probably the judge's job, as trustee there, to sit there and." Handle the accounting for the case, whatever it is. So you got to get out of the mindset that it's this this written statute that they came up with. It really isn't until there, until, unless there's a harmed party. This is all that's going on. So you can even write a letter. I, I don't know if this would work, but somebody you could try it. Will the plaintiff or prosecutor certify my right of subrogation? Send a copy, of course, to the prosecutor or, or plaintiff, and a copy to the court. Always copy all parties if you're not sure. That's the rule of thumb. I don't know, but I just assume you should notify people. Uh, if you already have an attorney, maybe show him what you plan to send to the judge. He probably will try to tell you you're crazy not to do it. Um, he'll probably run away from or discourage you because it kind of exposes the game that's keeping the whole system running on full profit for them. The legal industry is a machine. It's an industry. And, uh, but you want to send this letter privately to the judge in chambers, again, a copy to your attorney or to the prosecutor and plaintiff, give everybody a notice, um, but to sign it as living soul and ask the question, I want somebody to certify my right to this. And if they try to deny it, well, then they're really in dishonor. They're really, uh, there's a serious claim you could make at that point. Um, but just get to that point, see how it goes. Don't let them stop you from exercising your right of subrogation. But you must demand it to get it. If you get off on talking about anything else, traffic, this, that, statute. Listen, there are great arguments for those things. There's great arguments for subject matter jurisdiction on traffic, tax, property taxes, whatever. There's plenty of that. We have plenty of that material on the website. But let's just do the first things first. Let's get into the court the right way. And this kind of throws out some of the previous theories because we really have narrowed it down to a simple thing to do.